We are the paradoxical ape. Bipedal, naked, large-brained. Long the master of fire, tools, and language, but still trying to understand ourselves. Aware that death is inevitable, yet filled with optimism. We grow up slowly. We hand down knowledge. We empathize and deceive. We shape the future from our shared understanding of the past. Carta brings together experts from diverse disciplines to exchange insights on who we are and how we got here. An exploration made possible by the generosity of humans like you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very happy to be here and uh, present the archaeology of the Consul Gardula sites uh, in this an institution. My speech outline uh, will be, first I will start by introducing the Consul Gardula sites. Then I will go through the 25 years of archaeological research at Consul Gardula. Uh, focusing on the field research and findings, and I will touch upon some of the implications. What you see here is a map of East Africa, and uh, as the Konso Gardula site is uh, well known for its Ashulian occurrences, uh, meaning uh, stone tools made on large flakes, shaped on large flakes, uh, which appeared as of uh, 1.75 million years ago, uh, my uh, focus will be on sites that are uh, uh, known for their, uh, for uh, what they have in the, uh, representing this technology. Uh, Conso Gardula is one of these sites, together with uh, the Cocacele sites, which is uh, located here uh, in West Turkana, Konso Gardula is the oldest Ashulian site with hand axes that are dated to be uh, 1.75 million years old. And it's not only these sites, but there are also other sites in East Africa, uh, in further north in the lower Awash Valley in Ethiopia and in Turkana Basin in the uh, uh, Olduvai uh, Gorge we have many other sites, but all are not as old as these uh, windows that we have. This is the, console, uh, the distribution of the sites within the Conso Gardula. Uh, we discovered this site, the Conso Gardula, in 1991 uh, in a project that was run by uh, Dr. Brohani, uh, my colleague here. We are talk, uh, working together in those years. We are surveying the whole rift of the Ethiopian part of the Rift Valley, and we discovered several sites. One of these sites happened to be uh, the Consul sites. And this site uh, was a focus of attention for people who were interested in uh, that period, the period between 800,000 and 2 million years old. As you can see here, uh, the oldest sites at Consul Gardula uh, dated to around 1.75 uh, million years ago, are very rare, and it's only one site that we have. And when we come to uh, around 1.6 million years, we have also few sites, but as of 1.45 million years ago, the yellow shows us the distribution of sites. The Ashulian become, becomes more uh, abundant. And by around 850,000 years ago, we have more Ashulian sites 
everywhere. It's not only Ashulian that we have in council, but also all the one technologies are also represented in sediments which are older than 1.75 million years and uh, all the way to 1.5 million. Uh, here you have a composite stratigraphic section of the console site. Uh, at the, uh, this section uh, represents 200 meters thickness of sediments, which has about 30 uh, tough layers, the fascist layers, which were datable, and uh, around 13 of these were dated, radiometrically dated, and they were also correlated with uh, already dated tough, tough layers on the, uh, in the Turkana Basin. So we have uh, archaeological occurrences from the lowest here at around 1.992, uh, which are represented by old one technology, meaning simple core flex techniques. But the uh, oldest Achillean stone tools represented by hand axes made on large flecks appear at KJ6A1 here just uh, above the KYT tough which is dated at 1.74 1,740,000 1,740,000 1,000 years and this age is matched only by the uh, uh, sites that are found in Kokaseli in western Turkana. As we go higher in the stratigraphy, by around 1.63 million years, we have another important Achillean site, meaning a site with abundant hand axes. But the sites are very, it is only a single site, but as of around 1.45 million years, we have the number of sites that increases and the technology also refines through time as we'll be looking through. This is to show you one of uh, the sites, the older one site, dated at 1.9 million years, uh, at a site called KJ19. And the older one artifacts represented there are, uh, as you see here, are represented by uh, cobbles and flecks. Uh, this is another site, uh, which is dated, the site that is dated at one, around 1.75 million years ago, which we call KJ7, KJ6A1. And what you see here are, is, are two tufts here. You see two tufts. The archaeological excavation is conducted here. And the tufts, the upper tuff uh, that you see is dated to uh, one point, uh, 74, that is the KYT2 tough. And this is the excavation, and as you can see up there, we have hand axes made long, uh, on large flex discovered in situ through excavations. And the assemblage as a whole, as we, if, when you look at it, it is, you can see that it is uh, flake based, you see large flex, this is the ventral of the, this hand axis and peaks, and shaping is minimal, and we also find peak forms, peaks, large peaks uh, made on uh, large flex. So, as you can see here, uh, the shape is not, the shape of hand axis is not well attained, and shaping is not that, uh, great as uh, other uh, Achillean hand axes. This is the second oldest site that we have at KJ4A2, dated at 1.6 million years ago. You have here the hand axe staff, and the archaeological layer is just above the hand axe staff and what we, our excavation was conducted just here, because the overburden on this site was higher. And the artifacts that were, the Australian hand axes that were retrieved from uh, the KGA4A2 uh, look like this. They are better shaped than the ones that we saw at KGA6A1. 
and we see again all these hand axes shaped on, made on large flakes, detached from mega cores, big boulders were used as a core to detach these large flakes in order to make these hand axes. The other most important sites that we have in the console uh, series, we have about 20, 21 sites in console, 21 localities. Out of the 21 localities, the KGA-10 archaeological locality is the most, one of the most important ones. We have about 11, uh, as you can see, there's 11 uh, locus, archaeological sites that we excavated. And from this site, we also found Homo erectus and Australopithecus boisei skulls uh, discover, uh, dated to around 1.45 million years ago. And the Konso Gardulla KJ10 locality looks like this. This is the first picture that was taken of this site in 1991. And on the right side, you see how the fossils and the artifacts were eroding out of the sediments uh, when we first arrived there. The KJ-10 uh, archaeology shows Acheulean hand axes which are better shaped compared to the former ones. Here you see a crude form of lanceolate kind of crude uh, hand axes that we see uh, bifacial shaping contrary to what we saw into the mostly unifacial shaping. And we see the edge regularization also coming into focus. And in general, from the 1.75 million years to 1.74 million years, we see the oldest site here at KGA uh, 6A1, big boulder, big boulder, which was used as a core from which large flakes, as you can see, were, were detached and shaped. And by KGA4 time, at around 1.4, we continue to see large boulders which were used as cores with large giant hammers uh, that were used to detach large flakes. So the 1.75 to 1.4 million years. Uh, Acheulean in Konso uh, can be summarized as such. When we come to the younger age, this is the KGA 12 A1 site, and you see multiple layers of tufts out there, which are calibrated with tufts that are found in the Cobifora. Uh, formation further south in the Turkana Basin. And this, from this KJ-12 uh, A1 site, by around 1.25 million years ago, we have better shaped hand axes. The reduction is well done. The flex cars count augments. Edge is better regularized. And the plan form symmetry is almost attained. And when we compare the KGA-12A1 artifacts, hand axes, which we have here uh, down, compared to the KGA-4A2, the 1.6 million years old hand axes, we see better plant form symmetry here, in contrast with this one. The edge regularization is better, and the plant form symmetry, and the scar counts, and the invasiveness of the flex scars is uh, very special. And not only that, around the same time, at a, at a site called KGA-8A1, between 1.4 and 1.3 million years ago, we see predetermination of the flex that they were going to detach. The hominids knew what kind of flex they were going to detach from the, uh, from the core, from the mega core that they had. So, we see here the predetermination, the guys, those hominids had the mental template of the flex that they detached. This, in the upper uh, section, you see the rows, the arrows, which shows that the preparation of, which shows the preparation of the core before 
the detachment of the last detachment of the the flake at the end. So we see a technique that is commonly known as the Kamboa in that area. Not only that, we also think that from the techniques that are applied on this hand axe, on this biface, at, by 1.3 million years ago, we are, we can permit ourselves to think that perhaps soft hammer techniques, shaping using soft hammer techniques in order to make better regular, better shaped, almost three dimensionally symmetric stone tools was attained. It was evident by 800,000 years ago at another site that we call uh, KJ 18A1, we see better refinement and the choice of raw materials. Rocks is more diverse. They, go, they went for more fine-grained uh, rocks. And the 3D symmetry, as you can see it here, is, has, is attained a large, bigger, and well-regular kind of uh, hand axes were also made. And the uh, edge regularization it was uh, attained. So the Australian industry, the technique of making hand axes, which is started by around 1.75 million years ago in Konso. By the way, this is one of the oldest in the world, together with uh, the ones that we have in East, to, uh, in West Turkana. Uh, from the preconception of shape, as you can see here on the left, uh, and intentional shaping, then by the end of the lower Pleistocene, by around 800,000 years, hominids were able to shape better refined hand axes using soft hammer, invasive flex cars were there, and you can see the plant form symmetry uh, and uh, the section which, are, which together uh, makes the 3D symmetric uh, hand axes. So in summary, what we have in console from 1.75 million years ago all the way to 800, 850,000 years ago is a continuous progressive uh, change of the technology, the hand axis. It does not mean that there are less better made hand axes, but these are representatives indicative of the trend. And as you can see below, the peak forms continue the same. But the trend with the hand axis is well demonstrated. Konso is not only about lithic materials. It's not about making only stone tools, not only making hand axes from rocks. They were also napping bones from large mammals. At 1.4 million years ago, we have uh, a hand axe made on bones, bones which were modified, maybe for digging, spirally fractured bones uh, to extract marrow, possibly, from the bones. And we also have hominids discovered in this site, uh, here represented by this mandible uh, cranial frags is a homo erectus, and there is also the one postcranial uh, out there. And the best known console uh, specimen, Australopithecus boisei, which made it to nature's uh, cover page, uh, is uh, represented here. So in general, we can see an evolution from the older one to the earliest Ashulian, early Ashulian, then after 1.45, we have the Boisei and the Homo erectus going together and with more Acheulean sites uh, in, after the 1.4 uh, million years. And when we compare Konso with what we have in East Turkana, we, have, we can say that the earliest Acheulean in Konso began together with the appearance of perhaps the oldest 
uh, Homo erectus. And as Homo erectus uh, was established, uh, the Acheulean was more developed and uh, took over, and you can even start finding it everywhere in many sites in Middle East, in Ubedia, in several sites in East Africa and uh, elsewhere. So, as in the case of West uh, of Lake Turkana, the earliest consulian occurs at 1.75, and uh, several people have hypothesized why the Acheulean industry uh, happened in the first place, whether it was a phenomenon that was that appeared in with the earlier with older hominids or with Homo uh, erectus, as Homo erectus started to uh, include more activities to uh, exploit its landscapes. I would like to thank uh, the Consul Paleoanthropological Research Project, which I call lead with my colleague, uh, uh, Professor Gensua, and Brownie Asfaw uh, was uh, an instrumental, and it was his project which first discovered the site, and he handed it over to me and Gain to work on it, and he continued participating. And uh, Tim White, Gede Walder Gabriel, uh, uh, Shigeru Kato, Shinji Nagaoka, Hido Nakaya, our Japanese colleagues collaborate in this research, and uh, other Ethiopian colleagues also uh, collaborated in this research and grant was provided by the Japan Ministry of Education and Mitsubishi Foundations, and the Ethiopian Ministry of Culture and Tourism, and ARCSH, and the consul community and the southern Ethiopian uh, regions government have helped us uh, in all our endeavor to, to do the field and laboratory research. I thank, again, Carta for providing us, uh, providing me this opportunity, and I thank you. <laughs>